trying to stop this orange one now. Look, they have to run into the road because he's trying to cut back to the private lanes. Please stop, don't make them go through this, come on. There's a conduction sticker on the front but no plate. I have a feeling they're gonna run. And look at the plate. Good morning everyone, we are back on EDSA with the MMDA. And um, while the team are getting set up, I'll just shoot some footage to show you what it's like before enforcement begins. So you'll see a lot of motorcycles coming through, some private cars, and this is reality. If there's not an enforcer standing right here, telling people to leave the yellow lane, they're often using it. Of course, there are enforcers all the way along EDSA, but there are some points where there are less, there are some points where there are some more. That MC rider there is being stopped, came flying along the yellow lane. When he saw the enforcers, tried to get back to the private lanes, but uh, too late, it's being flagged over now for a ticket. They're flagging over that MC taxi now for using the yellow lane and look at how many motorcycles in the background. So they're stopping that silver car up ahead. I'm not sure if they'll also pick up that red one. See this, how they suddenly cut in to the private lanes to avoid being captured. So many times today I've seen motorcycles that just weave between the buses and I really worry for them because they can get squashed so easily. And uh, that's why they want to keep MC away from buses. See like that guy, he only wants to leave once the enforcers, once he sees the enforcers. But up ahead I can see they're already moving through the traffic to apprehend him and then they'll issue a ticket for a yellow lane violation. It's really dangerous. I especially worry about those MC taxis because they're carrying passengers who might not have much experience on a motorbike. Looked like that vehicle wasn't going to stop, but they stopped the taxi in front of him and then that brought him to a stop. I think that vehicle, is he gonna pull over? You never know because really so many people run from enforcers, but they have managed to bring that to a stop. A lot of the vehicles ticketed today are those who come along the yellow lane, then when they see enforcers, they cut back into the private lanes and they might think, oh, I can play hide and seek, and when if I get back to the private lanes, they won't catch me. But actually, like here, they're going to still pull you over and issue a ticket for yellow lane violation. And that's one more car they pulled over, and I think they're going to take this Vios also and the Innova behind, so that's a lot in a row. There was also a motorcycle before those. They're gonna stop that MC taxi now, if they can. He was using the yellow lane once he got past Bong. Oops, I better go back to the private lanes. Oh, are they stopping or not? Anyway, you can see it's being flagged over to the side and they'll issue a ticket now. I think the guy in green is about to be apprehended for yellow lane violation. He did go back to the private lanes, but it's just too late. Somewhere behind all those cars, there you go. And this motorcycle rider here has been stopped for driving in slippers, which is a dress code violation. And this motorcycle car for yellow lane violation. And one more ticket being issued over here, same thing, yellow lane violation. La la, captured, yellow lane violation. Stop 
driving that private car now. Oh, not stopping. Next enforcer would get it. It's actually not until the last two enforcers that this vehicle was brought to a stop. And there you go, the driver surrendered the license, they'll write out the ticket, send them on their way. And they're now issuing a ticket to this one for yellow lane violation. They actually don't have their license because it's been confiscated by Makati City. But uh, their ticket's still valid and that acts as their temporary driver's license. This might be the most expensive vehicle they've stopped all day. Look at that, what a beauty. But unfortunately it doesn't exempt you from yellow lane violations. Looks like the driver is compliant, and there you go, that's the license. And one more motorcycle taxi. Flagging over that vehicle now, if he's willing to cooperate. They're telling him to pull off to the side, but he's going straight. You can see there's no turn in the wheel so far. This is literally what they have to do, force a car to a stop just to get them to follow. So there was a little bit of resistance, but finally the license is handed over. Issue the ticket, give him the license back, and then he can pay that ticket in any Bayad center. So it's very, very easy. And uh, that's one more driver that surrendered their license for a yellow lane violation. And uh, this is something new. The passenger of a motorcycle taxi calling a friend to try and get them out of this situation. It looks like whoever she called didn't want to help, and uh, she's given up on that. So far the driver's refused to hand over his license, but I'm pretty sure from his face he's gonna hand it over. He's just delaying. And there you go, he surrendered the license 60 seconds later. Trying to stop this orange one now. Look, they have to run into the road because he's trying to cut back to the private lanes. Please stop, don't make them go through this, come on. There's a conduction sticker on the front, but no plate. I have a feeling they're gonna run. And look at the plate. I hope they chase them. Oh, there's another enforcer. Look, just weaved in front of those as well. They managed to chase it down. Now I'm guessing that if you check this plate with LTO, it's not gonna bring back any results. So if he managed to escape, how would they identify this vehicle? And there you go, as expected, no record. Although saying that there is a conduction sticker on the front, but it's so small that you couldn't easily read it and on camera there's no way you're going to capture that. And now I know some people are going to say why did you blur his face? It's the same in all of my videos. If someone is apprehended and they get ticketed then that's their penalty. Their penalty comes from the MMDA. In this case they managed to chase this guy down and capture him and uh, I don't really buy the excuse oh I'm in a hurry or whatever. You're in so much of a hurry that you're going to risk the enforcer's lives you're going to make them chase after you, which could also put other drivers at risk. It's really, it's not reasonable. So confiscate the license because of uh, reckless driving. So it's confiscated uh, already? After a long chase, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. So as you heard there, aside from the original violation of Yellow Lane, they've added reckless and apprehended after a chase and confiscated the license.